this kid's gonna be better than everybody I didn't know. I wanna show you how great I am, great I am, great I am. I wanna fly, can't you take me far away? Give me a sign, a reach for it, tell me what it takes. And I go so high, I go so high, my feet won't touch the ground. It's it check me down, it all falls down. <laughs>I mean, this is my first time on the big screen, so I'm uh, not sure what to think. What makes you nervous about it? Uh, just my performance. My, you know, I want to make sure that, like, my mind is heard. You know. Can you give the viewers and the audience uh, any hints as to what your role is in this film? You know, uh, assistant to the, the mouses, the mice. A support character. Yeah, exactly. Not only do we have a, an extra celebrity here at the premiere, but we have a celebrity who's actually a real on-duty police officer, and uh, his name is Officer Caleb. The biggest question I have for you is, where's Caleb? I don't know. I've been looking for him all day. If you guys see him, tell me. Yeah. I'm looking for him. How many arrests have you made this year? Has to be at least, like... 50,000? I mean, there's a lot of people in this world, and I'm looking for all of them. And how many of the people that you arrested were mice? Um, green, red, yellow, and green. Green, red, yellow, and green. I'm colorblind. You've obviously heard the song, Let's Get Down to Business, right? Yeah. Have you heard the song, Let's Get Down to Milking? Let's get down, let's get down to milking. No. Well, I was just wondering, because you are wearing a cow hat. No. That's Which would mean that you're a professional business milker. Professional business milker? It's not out of the picture, I guess. Have you ever milked anything in your whole life? No. Have you ever milked a goat at the Mineral County Fair? I have not had that opportunity. Have you ever seen a mouse milking a goat at the Mineral County Fair? No. Do you like cheese? No. Officer Caleb. All right, here we have Fran. I want to ask you, Fran, um, how do you feel about your husband actually being a cat? I never thought I'd see the day where my husband became the furry, but, you know, I can't say I didn't expect it. Do you, I don't know if I can say this on live TV, are you attracted to it? I can say without a doubt I am not attracted to it. Anyway. I'm repulsed. Caleb Smiley. Here's my inspiration. No comment. Oh. Hi. Welcome to the Mousetrap vlog. Uh, this is Joey Flaherty, the husband of Francesca Anzel. Uh, Joey, how long have you been a furry now for? The hell of Meow. Does your wife like that you're a furry? Meow. Do you pet your wife like this? Meow. Mm, I'm repulsed. Do you have anything else to say? No, thank you. Hey, look, how long have you been doing this? As long as I've had booty shorts. Does Michaela like your booty shorts? Yes, she likes your booty shorts. What does she like about them? She likes how my booty hangs out of my booty shorts. What do your booty shorts say on them? Well, just look for yourself. All right, at the red carpet here. Right off of Hollywood, I have Sack and Trey. Sack, tell us how you got your nickname. Got a big like massive sack. Would you call it a scum or just a sack? I'd call it a chum. Trey, what inspired you to be in this film? I'm not in it. And what's the most uncomfortable thing you've accidentally done to yourself this year? Ugh. I had a bloody nose for 35 minutes at work the other day. Mm -hmm. I'm here with uh, Maddie Flash to Slover uh, at the Mouse Trap premiere. Big names coming down the State Farm red carpet. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Just like Flash is here for me today. Uh, tell me, Flash, what what are you wearing? What inspired you to wear it? And how do you feel about the Mouse Trap premiere? Well, this is a Flash costume, and this is H and M. Inspired me most about the Mouse Trap premiere is probably how hard Max has been working, and how the fact that Isla says that he lives in his office. Blue cheese. And now we welcome the big guest. The producer, the director, everything, all the check marks, all the boxes. Mr. DeSlover, tell us how this film started and how do you feel that you finally made it to the finish line? Um, great question, Alec. I'm actually super excited to be here. Um, thank you for being here, too. The Mousetrap movie was actually in um, inspired uh, rather, by a trailer we made. So we made the trailer first. Originally did not intend to make the movie. After the success of the trailer, we figured we might as well and shoot the rest of the movie. And uh, that's what uh, we're all here tonight for. And I'm pretty excited, actually, to see it. Yeah. Interesting. That's incredible. So a few-minute trailer turned into an entire film, did it? Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I don't think anyone here in America knew that you were from, is it Great Britain or Australia? Um, I'm, I actually was raised on that um, the Great Britain-Australian line. So I was born right on the, um, the equator, as they say. So, uh, yeah, I realized that I, I always play American in, in the movie. So no one knows that I'm Australian slash Great Britain. Yeah, I live right on the equator. So. And what's your favorite kind of cheese? 
blue. Blue cheese. Right here on the red carpet, uh, we have the big fellas, the big guys for their premiere night. We've been dreaming about this moment for what feels like a decade and has actually probably been close to it. First off, I just want to hear your thoughts, Max, as you both filmed, produced, directed, acted, and edited this film. First of all, Alec, I'd like to say uh, I do believe this is my greatest achievement in life. So far, it might be my magnum opus. Dare I say, it might be pretty epic. Colton, all these years of anticipation and staying shredded throughout the entire time, just like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the only difference between you and him, truthfully, is that you're not bald and he is. I'm just so proud of everyone here. Oh, the Mouse Boy actors, Max, Eli, and Vaughn. Just makes me emotional thinking it's been, it's been six or seven years in the making. Uh, just so much time and commitment we've put into this. Sh big shout out to Max, man, for, like directing this thing, rallying up the troops for it. What a dog. But well, man, I'm so excited for Mouse Boys Exposed. Excuse me. Mouse Trap. Just say. Slur. Now that we're talking about things that are a little bit uncomfortable. It's not a bad word. Dean. I wouldn't be caught saying it on camera. And to the, uh, to the audience, I'm sorry if dog is offen offensive to you. <laughs> You're just gonna say it again? Dog? You're gonna drop the D-bomb like that. <laughs> just say D-O-G or something You're really like just that. gonna drop the D-bomb like that? Boss Boys exposed. Vaughn, you were like three years old when this movie first started. Now you have uh, facial hair. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really, really old compared to the half decade ago that I started filming this. Really, time can fly. Who knows? Maybe there'll be another one. Maybe I'll have a full beard. Do you guys have any last uh, words before we head into the movie premiere? In a moment of seriousness, uh, just want to take a moment of silence in remembrance of Gus. He'll always be our new blue in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Touching. Thank you. Good luck, fellas. <laughs> What's your Rotten Tomato score in the Mousetrap film? I'd say about 8.789% uh, really funny, really hilarious, and such a deep plot. The experience that you just had from that movie, uh, to you, is it closer to heroin or cocaine? Coke. Cocaine? For my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as the as the president of the club, it's, uh, it's got to be scr Interesting, what would you rate the film 0 through 10 Rotten Tomatoes? I think I'd give it a 8.7. Va a la puerta. I don't speak Spanish. Do I look like I speak Spanish to you? No, but I thought you thought I spoke Spanish because I look like I speak Spanish. No, you don't. What would you rate the movie 0 through 10? Um, I would, I would give it a 10 out of 10 for sure. The CGI is out of its time. I mean, it's unbelievably real, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah. rumor has it it's going to break $3 billion in the box office opening weekend. So it's more than Avengers, Avatar, and Avatar 2 combined. Oh, absolutely. How was it? Was it intimate? I was trying to stay quiet, man. It was, it was fixing to be a loud one. It's a stinky one, I'll tell you that much. Is it? Yes. Congrats. <laughs> oh. Quick Rotten Tomatoes movie review on the film that you just watched. Tomatoes review. 10 out of 10. Do you have a Rotten Zucchini rating? 10 out of 10. Eggplant rating? Six and a half on a good day. <laughs> wow. 10 out of 10. Good. New whenever you are, because we have to leave. That just happened. Bye to the boss. <laughs> How many words can you speak in Spanish? You. <laughs> at, least, at least my name and my birthday. <laughs> what would you rate the film? 1 out of 10. Um, Rotten Tomatoes. 7 out of 10, because I really wanted them to get the cheese at the end. I was really heartbroken for them. Any last words? State your name. My name is Fran. Fran all Flaherty. What did you just watch? I just watched uh, <laughs> is it Mousetrap. Mousetrap the movie, that's correct. <laughs> Thank goodness. And um, if you had to rate Rotten Tomatoes... <laughs> How many Rotten Tomatoes? I would, 
<laughs> Wait, is it like what? how many tomatoes you? Is that how you rate rotten tomatoes? I don't know. So you give it a certain amount of a percentage. A percentage. Oh well, I give it a sixty percent for nostalgia. You heard it here first, folks. A seventy percent for nostalgia. Whoa. We're, oh, we're, we're certified fresh, folks. Do I go 60 though, or 50, though, because of Joey's role? Just, just absolutely disturbing me. Why don't you meet it in the middle and do 69? No. <laughs> 100. It's not, even a, it's, it's not even a question. Anyone who says other than what I said is scum and a dog. Don't be a dog. You know how much time... I went in prison for saying dog. I rated a good 9.82. The reason is because, first of all, they told me where their underground spots are. They showed me the undergrounds of how to get the cheese. Second of all, the reason it, I didn't give it a 10 is because I haven't found them yet. I know their underground spots, where they move, where they go, where they get their cheese. Now I just need to put that into the plane to find them. So... 9.82. What do I give the ranking? I mean, I feel like it was quality, so. You're dodging the question. Your boyfriend is very eager to hear you say what you want to. <laughs> um, I would probably give it mm, like, a, like an 89, I would say. You know, that's a B plus. Am I really a B plus to you? <laughs> that's not what the question was. <laughs> well, it's kind of leading into that. It's, no, it's not. It, I, you said right the movie. I am the movie. Oh, okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know about that. 17.4. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 to 100. 1 to 100? All right. I, I would give it um, probably like a 65. Maybe bump, bump that up like f four points. Oh, okay. Uh, I, got, I got what you're saying. Hold on, hold on. So, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, one, to, uh, one, to, 100. 1 to 100. 1 to 100, yes. 69. Oh, that's pretty good. Certified fresh. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's sexy fresh. <laughs> uh, rotten tomato score. Uh, let me think for a second. Um, uh, 992. 92? Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. That's actually fairly good. I, I would agree with that statement. Maybe a little higher, but... 94. Okay. See, this is a humble guy right here. Very <laughs> humble. Yeah. It's still better than Avatar, though. <laughs> yeah, way better than Avatar. <laughs> Let's be honest here. A uh, three-hour movie? Come on. 40 is the limit. James Cameron, you can suck my blue balls, mate. <laughs> <laughs> blue cheese balls, to be exact. Exactly right. Blue cheese balls, mate. Blue cheese. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh, that's a pretty good rating. Certified fresh. But, it, you know, it's... It's out of a hundred point scale. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a hundred. Oh, wow. Certified fresh. Nice, mate. <laughs> sure. Max. Bl Sorry. Blue. Do you have any final, final thing to say? Well, I'm not saying we're going to do another one. But if we do, uh, it's going to be off the chain, mate. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be balls to the wall. It's going to be blue balls to the wall. It's going to be absolutely crazy. They're going to have to lock me up, probably put me in the nut house, probably lock me in the slammer. They're going to say, this guy's crazy. He's a wacko, you know. He's a nut job. He's a nut ball, you know. Uh, he's got blue balls, and uh, he's a wacko. And uh, uh, yeah, we got to lock this guy in the slammer and uh, never, never throw away the key, as they say. So. All right. That was a great movie. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> Mouse trap two coming your way. <laughs> Did you hear the meat on it? <laughs> right. <laughs> Mark, good. Because they're not clapping. It's not clapping. Why are you that face? Because it hurts bad. Oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's B-Real time. B-Real. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait,
Wait, hey, wait, wait, watch this one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> get in there, get in there. Why? No, he's coming out of there. <laughs> sure, bro. I'll come over at 8 a.m. <laughs> Still better than Avatar. I didn't watch Avatar. I don't have three hours to spare. <laughs> Same. Wait, is it the Avatar with the, the blue? It's not that one. It's this is blue. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> yeah. It's not that one. It's it's the blue, blue people. people. Yeah. I'm not gonna go back and watch a three-hour movie and then go back and watch another three-hour movie that's six hours. So I rate Avatar. So I guess what I'm gonna say is I, I rate Avatar 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's that's too high. I love it. <laughs> Josh is sleeping. His head is Literally. right there. My kids' heads are right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you get in trouble? Shooting I don't know. Pops out of nowhere. I'm literally just. It pops out of nowhere. <laughs> you just came out of nowhere. His performance in the cheese room. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Adam, okay. <laughs> and did you know Australia and England are not next to each other? Um, it's actually a common misconception. I, I, I was, because I was actually, I'm half Australian and half uh, Great Britain. Um, and this was like uh, before the split in Pangaea. So I was born on the equator. <laughs> <laughs>